So I had my own wing of the house, big bay doors in my place, whole wing, bathroom, had my little office, bedroom, TV, I had a couch there. I really didn't have to get involved with the rest of the house. Every night I would go in a room and I would shut the door and there was a sign on my door that says, do not disturb if the doors are shut. Because at that point I'm looking for my privacy. I'm, you know, maybe I'm sleeping, whatever. So the game became... Um, so after a long meeting with myself and the other people involved, it was decided that I would move into this house, that I would be the stabilizing factor in this house. I'll bet you that was a hell of an argument. It really was. I fought that, tooth and nail. That was, that was, it was a, it was a <clears throat> bitter fight to the death. So we figured. Or me. No, no fellas. No. Did they have to twist my arm a little bit? Listen, I don't want to do my, it. My arm no. was back here. There was a little twist. <laughs> you're back in your fucking... I'm, I'm building the boxes. This is against my will. and I'm, I'm folding up my clothes. And All right, maybe Is the maybe, truck here yet? Maybe, is maybe, the moving truck here? Maybe it wasn't the worst idea in the world. Um, so, I, okay. So, all right. He's had his fun. Um, so, I'm, I'm dying for a tragic story. <laughs> Okay. Well, 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 yeah, maybe. These are all tragedies. Come on now. I'm dealing, you know, it's all right. Anyhow, these are tragic situations, you know. There are a lot of people out there that say, hey, why didn't you just get married, have a wife, have some kids, enjoy that lifestyle, go to Disney once or twice a year, live that life. I have lived a loveless life. <laughs> listen, and, and I got you. Look, I have what, never what, had I, the solace of knowing what it's like to come home to the same woman every night. To feel her warm embrace, to have my children come up to me and say, "Dad, how are you?" And I listen, and I hear, and I always say, because you know, I always say that you know, I I wish I'd had that. I envy those people. Don't you? I do. Like, Don't I mean, you? I wish I didn't have to have made all of these these decisions. But you know, there was a lot of good times. I'm just along saying the way I could have had I've, that. I could have had the the Norman Rockwell Christmas. I could have had that. You know, two kids, the dog, and the fence. I could have had to stay. I could have had that kind of loving, wholesome, all-American life. Instead, I get saddled <laughs> with oh. having to spend my life with with some of the most gorgeous women on the planet who are unbelievably sexually promiscuous, who constantly need daddy's approval. Hold on. This was my life. This was my tra this is a tragedy. Oh. This is a life tragedy. <laughs> I can't believe that you can't see this. You can't see the heartache within me throughout this. This my whole life so far has been a Greek tragedy. I... So I'm living in this house. I'm away wrestling a lot. Now the nice thing about the house was there was a master side to the house. So I had like my own big bedroom, my own bathroom. I, that was the only reason I agreed to move in. I didn't really have to share a whole lot with the girls. <laughs> but I'm supposed to be the stabilizing factor. The girls knew when I was coming home, and it became this thing where, look, when Johnny's coming home, the house has to be clean, the house has to look nice, or Johnny's going to be upset, and we don't want to upset Johnny. Because there was also a game that was invented while I lived in the house. The game was called Who Gets Johnny? This is the tragedy part. Hold on, no, there's a tragedy here. I've got to get some, i got to go to the bathroom. There's I have to get some coffee. I have to go to the bathroom. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, this is fucking bullshit. Fuck. Do you agree that this is a tragedy in my world? This is tragedy, right? And you're trying to sell it as a tragedy. Welcome to being a pro wrestler. We try to sell everything. So what was the, the who gets Johnny? Okay, so yeah. So we're jumping. Uh, who gets so, Johnny? So who gets right. Johnny? So this became the game in the house. Now you've got 15 porn girls in the house. Um... Guys were generally not allowed over the house because it was important to keep secrecy. You didn't put stalkers outside. So I'm really the only guy besides the crew who comes and gets these girls. And, and I'm not going to brag or anything, but like at that time, guys who did, you know, uh, IT, guys who did uh, website building, guys who handled the cameras, these guys were the dudes that never, they were the AV guys in high school. Right. They're still trying to figure out how to lose their virginity. This is the, these were these guys. These were right. the dorks, the nerds, but they were the smart guys. So this is what they're into. They have no suave with girls whatsoever. They have no game. So they, they literally can't get laid in a $2 whorehouse with a $20 bill. So it doesn't matter that they're going over to the house because they're just not doing it for the girls. Johnny lives in the house. 
Johnny's got a little gym in the garage. Johnny, you know, so Johnny's, you know, and at the time I'm much better shape than I am now. I've kind of lost it over the years and I'm looking good. So I had my own wing of the house, big bay doors in my place, whole wing, bathroom, had my little office, bedroom, TV, I had a couch there. I really didn't have to get involved with the rest of the house. Every night I would go in a room and I would shut the door and there was a sign on my door that says, do not disturb if the doors are shut. Because at that point I'm looking for my privacy. I'm, you know, maybe I'm sleeping, whatever. So the game became, hi, can we talk? The girl who got through the door was the winner. This was the challenge. I found out. Was she? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. two, two points. Two points there. I'm not the one getting beat up on my girlfriend, though, okay? I give as good as I get. So, all right. Anyhow, um, so I found out about this game. Like the crew was telling me, like, oh, there's this thing going around where, you know, the girl gets in the room. She's, you know, the winner and the other girls, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, okay. So there was like this whole month where every time a girl would knock on the door, go away. All right. Go away. Now the game has gone to a whole new level because I'm not even, there's nobody I'm letting in the room anymore. Now it's all day. Who's like just, they're all over me all day. I can't, I can't even function. You talk about a tragedy. You know, look, I'm trying to do my phone calls. I'm trying to schedule my, my wrestling shows. You know, I'm trying to do my damn laundry, for God's sakes. And I got some girl grabbing my ass, telling me about all the horrible things that she wants to do to me in bed that night. This is hard, living life this way. It is. This I'm is sure, I mean, I, I assume. It distracts from it all. I assume. So this was... It sounds really... Eight years of my life 